Come in, come in, come in. The Irish Times is there. I'll flirt to them for a minute or two. And then again, I could get shell shocked. It'd be lovely if we came and just, hi Chris, how are you? Imagine that. And I'd go, how are you doing, Joe? And I'd say it like this, how are you doing, Joe? How are you doing? Oh, it'd be lovely. Very exciting. You can already feel the momentum building. Uh, there's definitely a vibe in the air here, and, and I think it's going to be great for the president. I think it's going to be great for County Mayo. I think it's going to be great for Valley Nye, but it's going to be great for the whole Republic of Ireland. This is, uh, yeah, it's very much a dream come true. I'm telling you, there's great buzz. Everyone's out and everyone's getting ready now for the president himself coming on the 14th, so it's great. It's great. There. Yeah, there's a, a, yeah the there's been a few in last night with it. Yeah, so this week onwards now, I say we maybe flat to the mat and all that, like, yeah. And were they doing research or was it just? Just in for a few drinks. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, okay. yeah. How are you, Michael? We've had CNN, we've had Radio 4, Daily Mail, Japanese, French, German, Swiss guy. I have an Italian guy on to me, Chinese stuff. It's just. It's, it's, but it'll be all here next week. Capacity around the bridges will be close to 20,000 people. It's going to be a momentous occasion. But a lot of people have met him here as well. There is that welcome home element. It, there should be a respect given to that, that this is not an engineered relationship. It's, it's true and sincere. You're in Garden Street, Bellana, and this is reckoned by historians to be the original Edward Biden cottage. The fireplace is all that remains at the moment. We're talking about 200 years ago. As a parish we have some very tangible evidence of, of those roots. Some of his ancestors were involved in the building of the cathedral. Bricks that were sold by Edward Blewett back in the 1820s uh, went into the pillars for the inside of that cathedral. In 51, his wife and eight children, the whole family, moved to America. And this was after the famine. I suppose they saw no future in Ireland at that stage. People dying on the roads. To have the President of the United States here in Ballina is, is a huge deal for, for this town and for everybody. And um, just slap it up and, and be grateful that, that kind of a native son would, would take the time to come back here. Sure, it's going to be unreal. You know, to have, to have a President of the United States come to a small little town like Ballina, it's going to be fabulous.